Today, the Blue Sun factory is preparing to test a 1 megawatt per 1.4 megawatt hour system. We saw a Tiger driving a forklift from a distance. His purpose was to move the inverter and MPPT module cabinet to the test site. He drove the car to the inverter cabinet with a gorgeous drift. Then Tiger carefully forked out the wooden box containing the inverter and drove slowly to the test site. When we arrived at the test site, Tiger drove the car with one hand and placed the cabinet on the open space in a few seconds. It must be said that Tiger's forklift is really amazing. While talking, Tiger pulled two MPPD cabinets over again. The efficiency is really high. With the arrival of the two MPPD cabinets, our Blue Sun F4 appeared. They held a claw hammer in one hand and a screwdriver in the other. It was magnificent and very impressive. The three cabinets were dismantled by them in an instant. Since the forklift was driven away by Tiger, they had to use a trolley to move several devices to the appropriate location. These devices are not light but they can't do anything to our Blue Sun F4. They were quickly moved to the appropriate location. Then they checked whether the machine shell and interior were intact. Next, the battery came on stage. Since the battery pack requires four people to lift it, placing the battery is a physical job. After a while, Five sets of battery packs were neatly placed on the test site by Blue Sun F4. The next item is to measure the voltage and internal resistance of each battery. This step is to ensure that the positive and negative directions of the battery are correct. After opening the protective cover, Breezy took the voltmeter and started measuring alone. It may be a bit slow for one person to measure, so Breezy called a partner to measure together. After the measurement work is completed, the power line and copper plate can be connected. Rocky placed the power line next to the five sets of batteries and then pushed the trolley with the copper plate and communication line to start the wiring work. Our Rocky is worthy of being Blue Sun F4, and his operation proficiency is really high. It didn't take long for him to connect the power line and copper plate of a group of batteries. Buddy saw that the copper plate was already connected so he started to connect the communication line between the batteries. The installation technique was also equally proficient. Soon a group of batteries was connected. In order to improve efficiency, Rocky and Buddy connected at the same time, and even our Tiger joined in. Soon all the batteries were connected. Breezy slowly pushed a small car with a computer, connected the computer to the battery, and started the configuration work. Breezy had to configure the BMS parameters and copy the BMS program to match it with the inverter. The next step was to connect the power line between the battery and the inverter. Rocky quickly removed the bottom shell of the inverter and then started to connect the power line of the grid. When Rocky connected the power line, our Jazzy came to the scene wearing a large flower jacket. 
Jazzy's task is to connect the communication lines between the high voltage box and BAU, between the BAU and the inverter, and between the MPPT cabinet and the inverter. Jazzy's operation is very skillful. Such a complex line was connected in a short time. He also removed the baffle of the MPPD cabinet. Seeing Jazzy remove the baffle, Rocky began to connect the power line between the battery and the inverter and the power line between the battery and the MPPD cabinet. After completing all the wiring, Jazzy started the battery and then turned on the inverter switch and circuit breaker. Then Rocky began to set the parameters and check whether the inverter version was the latest version. After the check was completed, the grid was turned on again to test the grid connected electricity sales and charging. At this point, all the tests were completed.